welcome back to my weirdness. It's me, your boy Jane, here with a brush washing video. Oh. Um, I wanted to do one of these because I get a lot of questions on how I do it and if I have any preferred methods or, you know, stuff I use, products or whatever. So the answer is yes. Yeah. I don't use fancy brush cleaners. I mean, once in a while I get them and I use them and they're cool and all, but I don't buy them. Here's why. Boop. Dawn dish detergent. If it's good enough for baby ducks, it's good enough for your hairbrushes. Uh, makeup hairbrushes. I got, uh, I use some Talenti to keep them in. Um, I have a bowl. It's a glass pirates bowl, but you can use whatever bowl. I suggest not using plastic because it can, like, stain it. So if you want to use it again for something other than washing your makeup brushes, probably not a good idea. I have a dish towel. It's the back of the dish towel, so it's got, like, a rough kinda the bottom of it's kinda rough. Paper towels sitting off to the side to put the brushes on to dry. But let's start with real hot water. Real hot water. You want the hottest water possible. You want it to be hot as hell. So while you're waiting, you can put a little bit of Dawn in there. Drizzle some in. It's okay if you use a lot because it'll rinse out real well anyway. So then you just fill it up. You want a good ratio of water to soap. And I also have a toothbrush. Nothing special, toothbrush, boom. I'm gonna start out with my favorite, my um, fluffy, luxe uh brown top blender. Just dip it in, get it soapy. Foundation and concealer and like creamy stuff are the hardest to get out. So in situations like that, you probably can use Alcohol, a real strong alcohol, 90%. To get like, and that and like stains, like if you have some pressed pigments that stain your brushes, you can do that way too. And you can already see the colors mostly off my brush just from that. Take the toothbrush, I get it soapy, and I just brush it out. I'm brushing the way the brush goes and around in a circle. And then I squeeze it together a little bit, put some soap, and then just kind of brush it. Brush it gently. A little more soap, a little more water. And then it's back to its original color. Almost instantly. And holding it together like this will help so that, you know, you don't fuck up the brush bristles. You can always go in again for another dip. Scrub, 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 scrub. All right, and then when you're done, you just rinse it real well. Run your fingers through it to make sure it doesn't feel creamy or anything. Sometimes with thicker brushes, I will actually, it gets stuck on, like, on the inside. It gets pushed to the inside, so I'll just put a drop of the soap, wet it, and then kind of just massage it in towards the center of the brush while holding the bristles together, and then just brushing away the nonsense once it comes to the top. If you don't want like creamy makeup staying in your brushes, that's how you build up bacteria, ladies. And then rinse real well. The synthetic brushes are better if you're going to be like doing this and like having them wet. Um, real fur brushes, first of all, it's a luxury that you don't need. It's just you don't need. If you're interested in trying real fur, uh, real hair brushes, then you know, that's you. They're much harder to keep nice. So if you have like a synthetic brush and like this pops off or something, you know, you wait till it dries, you put a dab of Gorilla Glue on the inside and then you squeeze it back together. Fixed, no need to go buy another brush. So then once you rinse it out, I kind of shake it out a little bit and then I just go over to this rough dish towel I already have and just kind of brush it out like I'm applying the makeup. And if color appears on the towel, I'll rinse again, but it looks like there's no color on the towel. This is also good for picking up any like water droplets or particles of pigment or whatever. It'll pull it right off the brush. And then your brush is pretty dry. And then you just take it over and you lay it on the paper towel. Simple as that, simple. So same thing goes with any brush. Like this is an angled kind of crease or blender brush. And it's got some like bright color on it, you know? from probably the Grandiose palette or even maybe a Olivia's Place palette with pressed pigments. I'm just mixing it up 
real well, shaking it up real well. Um, it's good to use like a container that has like ridges on the bottom from like a design or something because then you can kind of brush the bristles over it. This one does not. So this is pretty um, colored. So I'm actually gonna just put a teeny dab, a teeny, teeny dab, and then scrub it out. For smaller brushes, you can hold your nail down over it, like so, and squeeze the bristles together to get all, to get them flat and to get all the particles out. If this isn't really working too well, you know, with the pressed pigments, they're staining the bristles, alcohol. But make sure you clean them with the Dawn afterwards so it doesn't really dry the bristles out too much. The Dawn will kind of help keep them soft. That's why baby ducks are so soft. Honestly, here. Baby duck conspiracy. There you just live in Dawn. Rinse. Shake, shake it out, shake it out. And then brush it off. And there's no pigment coming off. And the brush bristles are back to their normal color. I still don't know how to get autofocus to work. Nice and dry. Throw it over there to dry. This one's got a lot of press pigment on it. This is filled with Hoovies Place Orange. It's still like fluffing out. So immediately what I'm going to do is put a drop. And then instead of going right in with the bristle, the brush, the toothbrush, I'm kind of going to massage it into the bristles a little bit with my fingers and just kind of like rub it in. It's going to help break up any of the particles that are in there. My finger is orange. After I get most of that off, it looks like the bristles are pretty clear, so I'll rinse it. And then you can already see already, the bristles aren't orange anymore. I'm telling you guys, Dawn works for so many things. You can use it for so many things. You can even use it to remove makeup if you use a very little bit of it. Hashtag non -thumb. We didn't even need to use the toothbrush here. So we just shake it out, test for pigment, and there's absolutely none. I wish I could show you guys this, but there's absolutely no pigment on the brush. And all we did was massage some Dawn into it. Just make sure you rinse the Dawn all the way out. You can tell because it'll feel slimy. Like when you haven't rinsed all the conditioner out of your hair and you still feel that little soapy feeling, don't want because that's either soap in there or leftover makeup. You don't want it. And throw it on the pile. Then how do you wash how do you wash stuff like this for instance? This has got um, an eyebrow brush and an eyebrow comb on one side. I don't use it all that often because I don't have eyebrows. I mean, I have used it in the past, but let's see. So you're just gonna do the same thing. Dip it in the hot soapy water and just brush it out. So easy. And because it's like plasticky, it doesn't really hold pigment well at all. So you just scrub it off, scrub it up. And you can even get kind of rough with the brush part. And then bam, it's clean. We're gonna clean a packer brush now. So I used this earlier today for a black eyeshadow look. So it is coated with Crown OMG Collection black eyeshadow. We're just gonna go in, we're gonna sploosh it off a little bit, and then I'm gonna put a dab right on, and then massage it in. And you'll get that gross, creamy, gray, or eyeshadow color, whatever the eyeshadow is, but we're back to not being black anymore. We're back to purple. Which is the color of the brushes, like a periwinkle. And these are shitty brushes. I bought a whole set of these of Wish for eight fucking dollars. And I've had them for a couple years. And aside from doing like the pop off thing, a couple of them pop off. They're pretty soft. And uh, the bristles don't come out. They don't fray. And I haven't had any problems pretty much at all. They blend pretty well. Of course, they're synthetic brushes. What can you do? But wish, $8. Sometimes it's worth it to wait a couple months to get what you ordered for. All right, I'm just gonna go in with my toothbrush, scoop some more soap, because we wanna get all the black. We don't want it to, if we ever wanna like pack in a lighter color with this brush, 
we don't want it turning grayish or bluish later on down the line. Okay, so we're good. It's back to its normal color. Get all the scoop out. Bam! Auto focus, not prepared. Make sure there's no pigment. Don't leave the water running because that's rude. And we're good. No grayish smudges. Clean brush. So of course I'm not gonna sit here and wash all my brushes in front of you guys. I'm just gonna do one more. And that's of course the weirdest one, the spoolie. It's for, you know, eyebrows, eyelashes, yada yada. And sometimes can be a pain in the ass and get lots of stuck on mascara in there. Admittedly, you probably definitely want to use an alcohol on spoolies just because they're so fuzzy and also stiff and they'll hold a lot. And because mascara is like waxy almost. So I just dip it in first and then I put a little dab of this and then squeeze it in. Get it real nice and soapy, dip it back in and then just brush it out. You don't have to worry about the bristles going all crazy, so you can go nuts on this. It's like a little wire brush. Mine isn't that dirty because I don't really do... I don't really use this fully too much. I rarely do eyebrows. My eyelashes generally come out okay. So that's it. Shake it out. But don't rub it too much on the towel because you'll probably pick up fuzzies. So you kind of want to just like roll it and pat it. And then throw it out. In the trash, right in the trash. Fuck that thing, you don't need it. No, I'm kidding. You throw it on the paper towel with the other drying brushes. So, if this video helped you and you learned something new from this whole situation, please, please, please let me know down below. I take questions, comments, suggestions, requests, all of them. All of them, I take them, just give them to me. I love it. Give it to me down the bottom. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. That's weird, and I'm being extra. But anyway, if you're on social media, I'm literally at Jane the Alien on all of them. Please hit this big circular thing right here-ish and subscribe so that you never miss another one of my videos when it comes out. But until next time, aliens, remember to stay weird. I love you.